Hey guys, Expert Gaming here, and I'm gonna show you how to get Horizon for free. Of course, it's free. It's unless you want to do download or buy the um, diamond version. I'll tell you about that later when we're getting onto the download. So first off, let's get to the download and how to download it. So just go to the internet, your web browser. I'm going to, to Google. Go to uh, just type in Horizon Download, and then just go. Should be the second one. And then, um, should be the second one or the first one, depending if there's an ad or not. So let's just go to that. So it'll take you to horizonmb.com. Then press the download button if, if you want to download it. You know, just here for a reason, obviously, if you want to download it. Just press download. And then go to, um, uh, go to your desktop when it's done downloading. And then I'll see you there. Alright guys, I'm back, and I'm going to show you what the um, what Horizon is for, how to, what to use it for, and everything like that. So, um, let's say I wanted to make, or not make, um, download an adventure map and uh, put it on Xbox so I could, you know, play it. So what you need first is your gamer profile onto a USB from Xbox, and um... Uh, you need a Minecraft world with uh, just press on new world and then save that to uh, your memory stick Then it should be on there and then once you're done with that open up horizon and I'll see you here in a second <clears throat> alright guys I'm back and so this is what it looks like when um, you open up horizon should have game up modders this is the mod things for your games profile mods tools miscellaneous um stuff like that and i honestly think he did a really good job with this look at that dragon's dilemma dirt fear fable 2 don't make cry dead space dead rising all these Working good games, Crackdown, Borderlands, Assassin's Creed. There's Ghosts and Grand Auto Five, but I think you have to buy um, Diamond version about that to get um to get that stuff. So yeah, so you should plug in your, your memory stick, and then it should come up with Device Explorer right here. Then just open it up. You should have your gamer profile as well, as well as your um, Minecraft map that you put on there. So go to games and then Minecraft. So this takes a little while to, to open up, so I'll see you in a second. Alright, you guys are back. And so you should have your map that should pop up. Sorry, I have a whole bunch. So you should have your map that should be the only one on there. Then go to the map and then double click it or just drag it onto this little square looking thing. So, um, so you should have this with your, this, what it should look like. Um, grab your adventure map that you downloaded and then drag it in here. Say I'm downloading Mine of Decay. I already, I already have it though, so. Um, so what you have to do to make sure it's compatible with your Xbox is make sure your profile ID is the same. So just copy and paste your copy your ID from your map on and paste it onto the adventure map that you want to be play playing on later on. Make sure you do that for profile, device, and console. So just copy and paste them both over there. And then press save to device so you don't mess up. And then have to do it again. You can name it. So yeah, just close that. And then once you save that, you should have it in here. Once you press save. And then... Let's see, yeah. This is how I got it in here, Mind of Decay. I had to copy and paste all that stuff to the to this map that I downloaded. It's pretty cool. You can get Hunger Games, Scary, Adventure Maps. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, there's themes. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. So, 
yeah, see you guys later. I might do a uh another a cool and scary head, um video on here later if I get if I reach um 50 subscribers. It's going to be really fun. So yeah, see you guys later.